welcome to my world framed Angela here so everything is going great this is pretty much my day four through ten post-op I got a little busy went back to work dealing with the kids so I apologize I wanted to up you, update you guys at seven days after my post-op visit but it was just kind of a quick in and out everything looked great at my one week post-op they taught me massages that I will be doing 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes at night and then two to three minute sessions um, incisions look great the little glue they actually used glue on my incision so that is starting to flake off they said just wash it and then as it flakes off it's okay everything's going great with the incision so I have been making sure to keep gauze right underneath where the sports bra hits so that way I'm not uncomfortable because the rubbing does irritate girls just put something there trust me I went like 15 minutes without it and I was like yeah big mistake just leave it um, I have still um, upper back pain not gonna lie uh, three days I slept on my bed with the power base the power base didn't really help just because the way that the incline was wasn't supporting my lower back as much and my husband can't sleep upright as much so I was trying to compromise and it wasn't working so I'll probably sleep a few more days on the couch just to get some really good rest until I can start feeling like I can lay down and lay on my side and things like that but it, everything takes time uh, some things I noticed that I did see in other videos was you know people talking about breaking out I start I did start breaking down, out on my chest probably from um, the antibiotics and things I can tell my skin's just kind of flaring up from everything trying to get out of my system it's fine it's temporary we'll be fine and fabulous you know once everything's gone um, besides that um, my stomach's starting to feel better making sure that I eat very healthy drinking lots of water um, I'm trying to give you guys oh I did find out when I did um, go for my post-op they give you the the ID card for your implants so you can see um, they give you a card I'm gonna see if I can put it up there and it tells you everything about your implants, the size and everything. I did notice though that I was mistaken. It wasn't the memory shape I got. It was the mentor memory gel. But what they do is they give you this card. It has your ID. You can register for an extra warranty. I think it's like 200 bucks and it kind of extends it from instead of just three years for certain things, but to 10 years. I think I am going to do it just to be on the safe side. I mean, if I invest this much, 200 bucks to have an extra warranty doesn't seem unreasonable. Um, but besides that, um, I did go and get some extra sports bras just so I could have something to switch between. Um, I don't feel like two sports bras is enough, realistically. I feel like, you know, three or four to rotate between is actually reasonable because certain ones feel different. So I have ones that I like to wear to work and ones that I like to wear at home that are a little bit thinner. The ones for at work, I want to kind of have nipple coverage. You know, I don't want all that out there, okay? Um, but no, when I went back to work, I did, you know, I was wearing a lot of high waist because I didn't want, there's just so much roundness here. I'm not digging that. And I know it's temporary, but until then, I'm not showcasing anything. I know some girls are like, oh yeah, I just got my boobs done. I want to show them. Nope. I will keep these covered up until they drop and feel a lot better. So um, I've been wearing tanks up higher, not really, really wearing tank tops. Normally I'm wearing shirts that are high or have like, lace or netting or anything like that that's kind of camouflaging which is nice um but overall it's been going great recovery is going well i'm pretty happy um like i said the incisions are doing great um they're starting to get a little bit softer now that i'm starting to do the massages i can definitely feel a difference they do feel weird i am getting um the little twinges of pain that come through so i can tell things are starting to you know communicate a little bit better it does feel like girls who have been pregnant before or breastfed it does like feel like when you get engorged and your baby cries or a baby cries and you get that kind of like sharp tingly feeling when you feel like your milk is gonna drop that's what it feels like which is so weird to feel after all this time I mean my last time I was pregnant was about six years ago so that was unusual um, but besides that everything's going well let me know if you have any questions about anything I think I pretty much covered everything I was experiencing oh I did notice that throughout the day day five up until now when I was walking around and moving around a lot and not kind of resting up as much they did get like hard and tight throughout the day where I was like oh man I need to like massage them but don't massage them until your doctor says that it's time to you don't want to have any problems with where your incision is or anything like that but that's my update for day four through 10 I'm 10 days post-op I am wanting to do a video about the massages as well as my one month follow-up with my doctor so I'll keep you guys posted on that make sure you like comment and subscribe put on your notifications so you'll see when I'm doing my next update if you have any questions um, just let me know so I'll talk to you guys later bye